My name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Slay the Spire. It's time to go with the Ironclad in the Ascension Level 1. Again, we're doing Ascension Level 1 because Elite spawn more often, it's more risk-reward, and it's fun! Lose 8 max HP for a random rare relic is pretty ridiculous. Give me peace pipe, let's go! Yes! Red Skull. While your HP is at or below 50%, you have 3 additional strength. It's one of those, uh, one of those relics that... I never want to have active. Because if it's active, I already fucked up. I already done some wrong. Alright. There is a three elite path, but it's not particularly intriguing. It does have an early shop though, so I can pick up some aggression if I don't have it yet to take out those said three elites. Uh, it is worth noting, however, on the first floor, that Red Skull is going to be pretty handy for helping me take out those elites because you do end up quite regularly on less than half HP. Do I want to do a Perfected Strike? You know what? I haven't done a Perfected Strike build in non-dailies. Like, outside of dailies that specifically give you, like, a bunch of Perfected Strikes. Or they give you, like, four copies of every card. Three copies of every card that you pick up, right? I haven't really done a Perfected Strike build, so let's do one. Let's make a fat deck. Um, now I want to do a Searing Blow build. How many? Oh, there's a lot of, there's not that many actually. Alright. I've just come to grips with the fact that this is going to be a thick deck and I'm sad about it. I hate that it gave me a shot, by the way, just before a shop. Like, it changed recently so that you can't have a shop after a shop. Recently, it was literally like five months ago now. Uh, but it's changed so that you can't have a shop in a question mark space after a shop. But you can still have one directly beforehand, which is kind of lame. In my own personal opinion. Uh, I'd like to fully heal after this fight, if at all possible. Thank you very much. And by taking a wee bit slow, we've managed to accomplish that. I'm going to take Rage, because I'm going to be removing defense from my deck. Let's upgrade the Perfected Strike. Mm-hmm. All the way bash and wait for a better opening. No. We open now because we might draw Rage in our next hand, which we ended up doing. Mm -hmm. Still took one damage there though, so, you know. Ho-hum. Sundial, every three times you shop your deck, gain two energy. Well, really wish I could have a thin deck now, but unfortunately, I decided to go with uh, all this garbage, all of these strikes. So I'm thinking of a deck that's just rages for my defense and strikes. Upgrade two strikes with a whetstone, sure. Vajra, at the start of each combat, gain one strength. That makes this a little bit better. Sure, I'm actually quite fine with that as an opening hand there. And with that as a follow-up, to be honest. Another perfected strike. Beautiful. Looks like I might actually score a perfect here. And in fact, we will. Warpaint is going to upgrade two random skills, so I'm going to add a card to my deck before I do that, just in case I wanted to add one. And I don't. So now Warpaint upgrades two defense, sure. No need to take any damage that turn. 
Or this turn either. Goodbye forever. I was never going to be able to bash for the opening there. And the reason is because usually you bash and it doesn't break the metallicize. So the enemy doesn't wake up. But the enemy was definitely going to wake up because our bash does 9 damage now, courtesy of the Vajra, so it goes through the Metallicize. I'm really pleased with when that Sundial triggered for us. Dark Sun Periat, whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by numbers. Upgrade this Perfected Strike. We're just going to go for him. Strikes Ahoy, let's go. Didn't want both of my perfected strikes in the same hand if I could have avoided it there. Alright. Uh, I'm actually going to start attacking the frontliner. Get you down to about half and then start attacking the backliner. Because I was already going to be able to entirely block your incoming damage. And now, if that frontliner ever decides to attack me, I can just split it to stop its attack. Like right now. Said they're both attacking, so, like, I have to split this way, which is gonna suck, because it's gonna leave four characters on the field. Two of them trying to attack this turn. And I do not have the ability to stop. Damn. Oh, 21. All right, never mind. That's unfortunate, but I wasn't going to be able to perfect it from that point anyway, so. And I'm all fine with that, and goodbye forever. Fire potion and probably a feed here for us. Like, usually in this deck, it would be a double tap, and I really want to take a double tap. But if I get Dono and Decca and I haven't taken that feed, I'm going to be mad about it. I think I take the Velvet Choker. Because I don't put enough defense in my deck to use the Philo Stone, and this deck doesn't kill fast enough to prevent negatives. Um, Velvet Choker, like I've got some zero costs, one, two, and three, but I'm going to be playing a lot of perfected strikes, so. And without a double tap, I don't think I'm really going to butt up against the negative of the Velvet Choker too often. All right, there's two shops here super early, and I get to remove two cards, so I'm really keen on that. Great feed, Ancient Potion. I'll pick up instead of Poison Potion, because there's a couple things that I'm going to be quite scared of encountering. Do I want an Apotheosis in this deck? Like, I'm trying to put more strikes in it, but I'm just not getting offered, Manny. Yeah, I'll take an Apotheosis. Because I think eventually I am going to be putting a bunch more strikes in this deck. Beautiful. And Apotheosis Feed, so that it can get more max HP out of it. Explosive Potion is going to be slightly better than a Swift Potion for us. Armaments, if we didn't have the Apotheosis, I would take. But we do have the Apotheosis, so I'm not going to. Come on. Give me the book. 
Necronomicon! Oh, It's fine, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Usually don't quite like killing the backliner first here, but I think we'll be fine enough to do it. No, I don't really need to bring anything back from the exhaust pile. There's the rage that I was looking for for a really long period of time. That's my feed. Feel no pain. No, another perfected strike. Thank you. One down. Offering. Expedite the kill. All right. Uh, damn, I am actually going to have to use the offering here. Didn't want to have to, but I did. All right, we'll take a twin strike. It's a strike. Good. Five apparition. Aww. Yeah, we'll take him. Sure. So I guess that's going to be how we defend ourselves. I'll kill that frontliner so that he tries to recover. Do the thing. Recover, do the thing. It was so that he would try to summon again. Unfortunately, even if I used tangible, uh, intangible there, I was going to take some damage. Beautiful. Nice little chunk of max HP for me there. Wriggle Pillow. Heal an additional 15 HP when you rest. That's an offering. <laughs> Dead Branch. Whenever you exhaust a card, add a random card to your hand. All right. Well, time to go garbage. Let's go. Let's immediately upgrade the Apotheosis first because we don't want it to cost so much when we have to play it because we have to play it. Some more max HP there for me. None of that, though. Thank you very much. Bye forever. None of those either. Woo, baby. All right, let's double perfect and strike that back line. Sure, double tap. Got another perfected strike in there somewhere. Feed on him. Formal strike, beautiful. It's another strike card. Upgrade the offering so that we can draw down to our apotheosis faster. Right. Yeah. Should have played those first so that I would get the triggers of the dead branch already. Uh oh. Oh, Velvet Choker! Uh-huh. Yep. It's going to be really difficult to go off, quote-unquote, with the Dead Branch because of the Velvet Choker, which is going to make me a sad dude.
That's extraordinarily unfortunate. I'm really mad about it. I'm actually like a little bit quite dismayed about it. Just a little bit extraordinarily sad. Sure, I'll take an exhume, get myself another offering. Look at all the stuff I could do this turn that I can't do this turn. There's another offering. God, these offerings would be amazing if I didn't have the Velvet Choker. I couldn't have known I was going to get Milri's Codex and follow that up with so many Velvet Chokings. Um, I'm never really going to be able to apply vulnerability to this enemy. Yeah, that's one HP right there, so that offering is going to be a little less uh, than entirely useful for me. Yeah, that's a goodbye forever kind of moment right there. See, all of the fun things you can do get stopped by Velvet Choker. That's why I don't like it. That said, I probably would have died way earlier on in that floor if I took Philo Stone. Uh, choose a rare card to obtain. Sure, we'll just build around it. Oh, feed. Sure. I lost 8 max HP to get a card that is going to give me way more than that right back. There is no three elite path on this floor, unfortunately. This one has an early shop, though. Yep, I can hold on to this one until they get to feed at the opportune time. Because of that. Bye. None of that, thank you very much. Really don't like that I keep getting these shops directly before I get a shop. You know what? I can card remove in the next shop. Why would I remove it here when I could just remove here instead? But this also gives me the opportunity to look at more cards, see if I want them instead. Which I don't. I do still just want to go for a removal. Get the defend out of there. I've struck that frontliner because my feed is now only going to do 7 damage and I still wanted to be able to kill you this turn. Get my max HP up. So my goal is just to fight Dono and Decker. That's it. No goal other than that. Just want to fight Dono and Decker at the end so that I can feed... Now, what kind of deck is going to find the most success utilizing a feed at the time that it chooses? Like, I'm going to need to be quite powerful. Strength decks. Sure. Well, the deck get, uh, that gets to choose when it wants to feed is the deck that has gone completely, insanely out of control. Uh, and the decks that do that most easily are strength decks. Peace pipe. Peace pipe, peace pipe, peace pipe, peace pipe. You can now remove cards from your deck at rest sites. Peace pipe, peace pipe, peace pipe. This is now a, uh, uh, this is an infinite deck. This is now an infinite deck. We just infinite with this deck. Uh, remove another card from my deck. Sure, let's get a strike out of there. We infinite with the deck and we just carry feed with this, waiting to use it at the right time. We infinite the, peace pipe, peace pipe, peace pipe, peace pipe. 
This is a great opportunity that is not always afforded to you. In all of the runs that I was trying to get the peace pipe, I never once got the peace pipe. Now I have the peace pipe when I wasn't trying to get the peace pipe, and you'll be damned if I don't make the best of the peace pipe that I now have. Alright, bronze scales. Whenever you take damage, deal three back. Sure. Nope. None of those. Tiny chest. Gain 30 gold. You are 10% more likely to find treasure in question mark rooms. Sure. Oh. Oh, good lordy, no. That is not a good... This is not a good fight for me. I don't have any AoE in this deck yet. I don't even have a strong identity. He's a little boy. Just gonna need to rely on feet. I mean, both of the elites from this floor are done. I've killed both of the elites. So I'm safe now, pretty much. Well, wind is good, but it doesn't infinite. Just remove. Just remove. Take the fight earlier and then the question marks afterwards. Okay. Beautiful. Figure the bash feed would be in my next hand, but strike feed does it. Okay. Nope, those don't infinite. Uh, nope. Just take the max HP. Get myself as safe as I can. Nope, don't need that. Taking that curse and then removing it here would still be slower than just not removing. Uh, not taking that curse. Now, this fight is going to be annoying, so I am actually going to have to burn my feed just to get it out of my deck as soon as possible. Because this fight is going to be pretty garbage for us. A lot of this fight is going to be taking damage we don't really want to take. I'm actually going to drink a potion there. Oh, God. Yeah, we might actually just be dead in this fight. Didn't even think about that, though. Yeah. Because, like, what time are we actually going to have to hit the enemies? gonna be a rough rough time for us if we can make it through this then we will be on easy street but but it's whether or not we can make it through this right free strike there thankfully get me two defense two defend two defend two defend two defense got him Enemy's dealing 16 this turn. Uh, enemy's dealing 16 this turn. I'll go down to 11. 11 plus 7 is fine. Okay, I actually use a strike this turn because I'm going to need 21 damage in the next hand. Otherwise, I'm dead. And 15. We've got it. Okay, we lived. Uh, none of that. Nope. All garbage. Uh, we do want extra... Extra energy. Take the Sozu. We lived. We lived. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. We lived. We actually don't even want to fight elites if we can avoid them. We want question marks and shops. Question mark shops and rests, obviously. Looking for drop kick. You know, all of the kind of normal infinite tools 
if I can find any of them. Because this deck doesn't have defense right now. That's by design, right? But it's not going to live too long without defense. Unless we get some infiniting in here. Kind of need... I kind of think I might need to take a Hemokinesis here just as... Just to keep us alive. No. No. Uh... Yes! Yes! Yes, actually. Shuriken's amazing. But is it necessary? No. Card removal, get a defend out of here, and I will actually purchase a clash. Get the other defend out of here. Those apparitions are now our defense. So effectively, we're giving ourselves five turns to kill all enemies. Beautiful. There's a clash in this hand, so that one's going to be a little safer. And then I've got my feed. Regen potion gets taken away from me. Don't need any of those. It's toke. Remove an apparition because I'm not able to play the first clash when it comes up as a result of all of those apparitions, and those don't cost zero at any point. All right, take three damage there, it's fine. Really not a fan of the fact that we're now just bound to take that hit. And there's literally nothing I am capable of doing this turn. And the Taskmaster just gets another turn to put more wounds in my deck. Which are going to prevent me from ever using my largest damage output. Alright. Bash strike next hand is really garbage. All these smooth stone at the start of each combat. Game one decks. Not that good, thank you. I think this is going badly. I think I need the relic. Alright, well, wh whenever you rest, you may add a card to your deck. Not that great. Healing is 50% more effective during combat. Okay, it's a little bit better. Another strike out of there. Okay. Apparitions available. <sighs> Gotta make sure I keep using this feed. That's what's really keeping me alive at the moment. Also, every time I feed, I'm actually going to get extra HP courtesy of this magic flower. Okay, what do we want to offer to them? I think an apparition. Now, toke and remove a... So after we play the Inflame, our hands are Bash, Clash, Strike, Strike, Feed. I think I need to Smith, upgrade the Inflame. I'm not really getting offered any of the cards that would make this work, unfortunately. The one thing we, we really have right now 
is that we have a deck super thin. So we are able to consistently use our intangibility as our only defense. But yeah, as you can see, that's literally already ended. It's like a hell of a lot of damage here, but then I get to feed at the very least next turn. Bye. Come on, dropkick. Store your HP. Nope. Yeah, we probably don't end up killing this boss. We need the Clash to have extra damage. We really do. I'm so sad about this. Like, this, this build is running so close to the line. And the reason it's doing that is because if it doesn't do that, it's doing nothing. Right. That was our last turn of safety. We do get to kill the collector next turn, though. Get me drop kick. Get me double tap. Like demon form would do it, but oh man. See, demon form we would not be able to keep active. Actually, you know what? If we don't take Demon Form, we're losing, so whatever. I don't want my Clashes and Apparitions to cost a bunch, but this would... This Negawai would mean the Demon Form would be a lower cost. We can't keep the Ethereal cards in hand. If it's in your hand at the end of turn, it's exhausted, right? So the Runic Pyramid won't let me keep them. Skipping them. Ah, it's Time Eater anyway. God damn it, I tried so hard. And if this deck ever does become an infinite, great, it's Time Eater at the end of this floor. Good work. Hope, hope, hope you're happy. Y you got him. The Time Eater, that is. If that's him, you got him. Thanks for doing nothing but pushing uh, pushing burns into my deck, by the way. It's, it's making my life really, really easy, and I'm definitely not being sarcastic about that. Uh, sure. Let's get mad. All right, there's all of my intangibility done. Real keen on this clash. Oh, I'd be so pleased to play one one day. One of these clashes I specifically put in my deck to play. Mmm. Delectable. Yeah, goodbye forever. That makes sense. Let's put a bunch of burns in my deck. So, what we needed at any point there was uh, dual wield because it would have allowed us to dual wield our clashes, get a lot more damage out in the early, uh, or drop kick so that we could bash drop kick and start doing some cycling. Uh, and the reason we wanted that is so that we could perform with a deck that would guaranteed hold feed until the right time and then be able to just suddenly feed on Donu. Uh, but unfortunately, it looks like that wasn't really in the cards. But um, for the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.